So question for practice set for percentage. You can pause the video if you have not come across this question earlier. Pause this video and go through the question. Let me explain what is this question about. Question is identical chocolate pieces are sold in in boxes. Identical chocolate pieces are sold in boxes of two sizes. One is a large small box and large box. So this is a large one. Let's say okay. This is just for visualization sake. Uh, you don't have to do this in exam. A small box. Okay. The large box is sold at twice the price. So price wise it is double. If the price is P here, this price is 2P. If the selling price of, that's how, that's how you should read. Huh? You should keep reading and then uh, keep marking so that things will be easy for you. If the selling price per gram of chocolate of large box is 12% less. You know, so the selling price per gram, per gram, per gram there is a difference. Okay, why? Because large size you are selling in uh, the uh, higher packet, higher uh, uh, the larger packet. That means you can give some discount to the customer. That's what they mean. So 20, 12 percent less than the smaller one. The percentage by which the weight of the chocolate in the large box exceeds that's the smaller box. That means the, we need to once we need to find out the weight weight of the large one weight of the small one we need to find this weight of large one is how much percentage more is question clear to you price is double but there is a difference in per gram calculation for small and large large one per gram calculation is 12 percent less compared to the smaller one after doing all this calculation we should identify the weight and then we should see the weight of the larger one is how much percent more compared to the smaller one that's the question so is question clear to you now you understand the solution understand the solution so what do i do you know i have i keep i always uh, i always say that even in the percentage uh, concept builder videos these videos i have discussed that when the question is in percentage option is also in percentage then we can assume value instead of assuming variable it look very ugly p w so let's assume some numbers so i assume i start from here because the base of the base comparison with this is with the smaller box i assume the price weight everything of the smaller one so i what i do is because there is a difference in per gram let me consider gram only so a smaller box let's say it's of one gram the weight of smaller uh, smaller box itself is one gram let's say and assume per gram for 100 rupees so that percentage calculation will be easy i can apply the percentage on this for the small box now as per the question as per the question the large large box per gram weight the large box per gram weight is 12 percent less compared to the smaller one yeah per gram weight yeah so for one gram the large bo box entire packet is not one gram per gram calculation i'm doing because question said so for large box one gram price is 12 percent less that means it should be 88 rupees clear it should be 88 rupees right but question said the large the price of the large box price of the large box is actually double the smaller one okay when you get to sell this when you go to sell this the large box price is actually double where is it written here the large box sold twice the price of the smaller one twice the price of the smaller one now here i assume the smaller box is one gram small box price is 100 rupees yeah so when i compare with that the large box price comes to how much 200 rupees right and we don't know the weight we need to find the weight so for the large box one gram is costing 88 rupees then for the large box how much weight should cost 200 rupees can you do this yeah we do this with cross multiplication what is it called chain rule yes chain rule guys we have discussed the chain rule in ratio proportion so you can go through the ratio proportion uh, lectures if you have not gone through that so now like let's cross multiply so this question mark will be equal to 200 divided by 88 that's nothing but if you cancel this you will get 25 by 11 
okay that's the weight of the large box now is that the answer no question said find the percentage more when you compare the weight of the large with weight of the smaller find the percentage more so what is the formula of, of percentage more percentage increase that's difference by initial you are comparing with the smaller box multiply by 100 to convert into percentage so weight of the large box and here this is weight of the smaller box yes so 25 by 11 and 1 what is the difference 25 by 11 minus 1 what is the difference the weight of the smaller one is 1 only there is no need to write 1 in the denominator but just for just to explain you see the difference difference is what here 14 by 11 into 100 denominator this denominator 1 no need to write yes if you simplify this you get 120 percent approximately approximately question said uh, yes okay we we'll, nearest to approximately so if you calculate the approximation you get 127 percent and that's the answer did you like the explanation explanation did you understand this is your exam level difficulty question yes i again i'm again proving that they are not going to ask a difficult calculation to you they are going to understand whether you can apply these concepts into difficult uh, or twisted problems problem statements or not yeah fine we will see the next question in next video thank you so much